Hey, my name is Ben. I'm wiring my house currently, and a couple times question has come up for me. How many lights can I put on a 15 amp lighting circuit? I'm pulling all of my lights with a 14 gauge wire, so uh, all of my lighting circuits are going to be for 15 amps. So the way you calculate this out is using this simple formula, which is volts times amps equals watts. Uh, something that's really nice to remember just for and the sake of being able to calculate this and other things when you're wondering how many, you know, everything is rated in watts, but your circuits are rated in amps. So being able to compare those is really important. So 120 volts times 15 amps equals 1800 watts. So you might be thinking, oh, that's easy. I can figure out how many lights I can do then. So if you're anticipating putting 65 watt light fixtures in, uh, you could calculate that out based on 1800 watts. But the important thing you have to remember is that any uh, circuit should not be uh, loaded to more than 80% of its capacity for the anticipated load. So the maximum continuous load on a particular circuit is 80%. So you take your 1800 watts times 0.8, which gives you 1,440 watts. So that's your actual real life how many watts you want to plan to be able to use on a particular circuit. You don't want to plan to use more than that. So now that we have that, we take our 1440 divided by our fixture wattage, and in this case, your typical uh, recessed light uh, incandescent bulb is like usually 65 watts. So we take that 65 watts, um, and or you divide your you know your 1440 by your fixture wattage, and that gives you your number of lights or your number of light fixtures. So here's the calculation based on 65 watts. So 1,440 divided by 65 equals 22.15 fixtures, or 22, rounding it down to the nearest number there. So with that simple calculation, uh, assuming you're going to be using incandescent, you would put 22 recessed lights on a circuit. And the thing that's kind of a big factor right now is that everything is going to LED. So it's switching from being uh, 65 watts to maybe 10 watts. Some of the bulbs that I already got are 9 watts even. So the interesting thing is, if this were to be LED and they were drawing 10 watts, you could put 144 light fixtures on one 15 amp breaker, which means one 15 amp breaker could do my entire house for the lighting if I put in all LED. There's a couple of reasons why you should not do that. Uh, the electrical inspector said that you can size, like if you're putting in actual LED fixtures that are rated for that amount of wattage, you can size your, your breakers for that, but it's tough for troubleshooting. You're better off to put and design it more for what a traditional incandescent system would be like. So these are all capable of handling regular incandescent bulbs. So by designing it based on that, I'm going to have 22 of these cans that are going to be on one 15 amp uh, breaker. And having less on one circuit is an okay thing for the sake of troubleshooting. Uh, in all new houses now, everything has got to be arc fault almost in the entire house. So, uh, arc fault breakers sometimes trip because there's a problem somewhere in the system. And if you have 144 light fixtures on one circuit, it could be pretty difficult to troubleshoot. Here's an arc fault breaker right here. It's got the pigtail on it. Some of them have the plug on neutral now, so it wouldn't have the pigtail but they're longer uh, than uh, the traditional breakers. So that's how you do a wattage calculation.